The Enchanted River Quest In a quaint little village nestled between rolling hills, two brothers named Hudson and Sterling lived with their parents. Hudson, the older brother, was six years old, with a heart full of curiosity and a backpack, always ready for adventure. Sterling, the baby brother, had eyes as blue as the sky and a giggle that could make flowers bloom. One warm summer evening, as fireflies danced in the meadow, Hudson sat by the window, staring at the stars. Sterling, he whispered, do you think there's magic out there? Sterling gurgled happily, as if he understood every word. Hudson grinned. I have an idea. Let's follow the moon's reflection in the river. Maybe it'll lead us to a magical place. And so, with a lantern in hand, Hudson carried Sterling down to the riverbank. The moon's silver path stretched across the water, inviting them to follow. They climbed into their little wooden boat, and Hudson dipped the oars into the gentle current. As they rowed, the moon whispered secrets to them. The river sparkled, its ripples like laughter. Hudson imagined they were sailing toward a hidden island where fairies danced and talking animals told stories. Soon, they reached a bend in the river. There stood a magnificent willow tree, its branches trailing in the water. Hello, Hudson called. Are you magical? The willow rustled its leaves. Only if you believe, it replied. Row upstream and you'll find the enchanted waterfall. Hudson rowed faster, and there it was, a waterfall that shimmered like liquid diamonds. Sterling clapped his tiny hands, and Hudson laughed. We're on an adventure little brother. They stepped ashore, and the waterfall revealed a hidden cave behind its curtain of water. Inside, glowing mushrooms lit their way. The cave led to a crystal clear pool, the pool of dreams. Hudson dipped his hand into the water. Make a wish Sterling. Sterling babbled, and Hudson closed his eyes. I wish for endless adventures with my brother. Suddenly, the pool glowed brighter, and a magical boat appeared. It was shaped like a swan, its feathers made of moonlight. Hudson and Sterling climbed aboard, and the swan boat carried them downstream. As dawn approached, they reached an island with golden sands. The sun peeked over the horizon, painting the sky in hues of pink and orange. Hudson and Sterling explored the island, finding seashells that whispered secrets and palm trees that swayed to a gentle melody. At the center of the island stood a magical sundial. Hudson turned its golden hands, and time seemed to slow down. Sterling, he said, will remember this forever. On their way back, they discovered a rainbow bridge. Hudson held Sterling's hand, and together, they stepped onto its shimmering path. Each step took them to a different season, spring blossoms, summer warmth, autumn leaves, and winter snowflakes. Finally, they reached the other side, where the moon awaited. Thank you, Hudson whispered. For the magic. The moon winked. Remember, adventure is everywhere, even in the ordinary. And so if you ever find yourself by a moonlit river, listen closely. Perhaps you'll hear Hudson and Sterling's laughter, echoing through time, a reminder that magic exists for those who believe. The End